I live in Beverly Hills in a gated community. I bought this house six years ago because I felt like it was very safe being in a guarded gate community and they've never had any robberies here. We have security at the gate and they're always patrolling the whole area. So I've always felt very safe here. There's never been one robbery or anything before this whole bling ring fiasco happened. Paris Hilton's hosting a party in Vegas tonight. Where does she live? Can you find her house? For a year, I had no idea who did it. So I was thinking of, you know, all these different situations. Could it have been one of my friends? Could it have been an inside job? I just had so many thoughts going through my mind. Come on, let's go to Paris's. I want to rob. I came home one night, and there was dirty footprints all over the stairs and leading through my bedroom, and that everything had been kind of thrown around, and it seemed that the drapes were moving, and there was a man behind them. The first time I saw the surveillance videos for my security tapes, I was so freaked out. It just really weirded me out to see these people walking into my house with their hooded sweatshirts on, running up and down the stairs. I didn't recognize any of them. I would never had seen them in my life. It was just very creepy to me that people could just actually do that. Awesome. The key was left under the mat that one time because my housekeeper wasn't sure if I had brought it out with me that day. So she had left it there, and then the kids actually took the key with them and made a copy of it and then put it back the next time they came. So we never noticed the key was gone. So after that, they just had their own key the whole time. Wow. How many times have you guys been up here? Uh, mm. This is like our fifth time. And she never noticed? We never take enough for it to be obvious. I found out later from Sophia that they had actually been in my house six times. But before that, I had no clue up until the sixth and final time they came in, I went into my jewelry closet and saw that everything had been taken. Look at her sunglasses. These are Alexander McQueen. So this is my shoe closet, where they filmed most of the scenes. Oh my god. Just mirrors. She likes herself. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is the jewelry closet where the bling ring stole all my jewelry. Sweet. Guys, oh my god. But when I saw what had happened in the robbery and came in here, this was all completely empty. They had emptied off every shelf, and there was nothing left. They took over $2 million in jewelry, handbags, couture dresses, basically anything the designer that they could find. So this is my real closet where we keep all my designer clothes, handbags, jewelry. This is where the bling ring came in. They took every single designer couture dress they could find. Most robbers would just want money or jewelry, but with these kids, they just wanted everything they would see in the magazines. It's so cute. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Check it. Meow. Like most robbers, I think, when they come to a house, they wouldn't be taking these type of things. But with the bling ring, they knew about every designer label, anything that was either in fashion or it was really expensive, and they would steal it. Oh my god, this is Balmain. So cute. Is anything Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Birkin bags, all gone. And they even went into my underwear drawers and stole my bras, which I find pretty creepy. They took pieces of jewelry that had been in my family for almost a century, passed on from my great-grandmother to my grandmother's, pieces that I'll never be able to replace. It would always bring back memories when I would wear, you know, a certain pair of earrings from my grandma or a necklace that they gave me, and now I'll never see them again. No way. Oh, no way. Oh, damn, that's perfect. Ooh. Look, check it out. When I ended up going to the police station, I received some stuff back, but it was only the costume jewelry. Everything else they brought to pawn shops and uh, they were selling on the Venice boardwalk. So, yeah, I didn't really get back anything of any value. I had my birthday party here last year at my house and Sophia came with some friends and approached me and told me she was doing a film on the bling ring. She really loved the house and that it would be impossible to recreate for the film, so it would really mean a lot to her if they could shoot the film here. The only reason I said yes is because it's her and I have so much respect for her. Let's go upstairs, come on. Oh my God. I know, right? So this is what I call my wall of fame. It's a lot of the magazine covers I've done over the years. No way. <laughs> wow. 
which leads up to my nightclub room. It's her nightclub room. And this is where they were hanging out. On the strip pole and dancing on the couches, chilling. It was very bizarre to watch the surveillance video footage in this room. So these are the infamous Paris pillows everyone's talking about that are in the movie. Holy shit. These were actually a gift from one of my girlfriends. Um, it was my birthday and she bought them for me as a joke. I thought they were so funny that I kept them in the house. I love them. Oh my God, that's Paris Hilton. <laughs> when Sophia asked me to do a cameo, I was happy to do it. I think she is such an amazing director. Every film that she does is always so beautifully shot. Every time you see one of her films, you know it's a Sofia Coppola film. Anything she does is always incredible, so I was really happy to be a part of it. She's just one of my favorite directors, and I love that she's a woman as well. Well, the first time I saw the movie in Cannes, um, I was just so upset watching it. It was really emotional. I was just thinking, oh my god, I can't believe this really happened. And these kids are really in my house and took all these things. and just were totally violating my privacy and everything. So it was very emotional to watch for me for the first time. That's so cute. I love that dress. I love Chanel. Yeah, and the shoes, but she needs better hair extensions. I know, right? I think this film really shows just how celebrity obsessed some of our culture is, and I think it's really scary. You know, when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wasn't, you know, obsessed with any celebrities at all. I could care less about that. So you were definitely living in a different world, and these kids have access to so much information, especially with Google Maps and there's star maps online. There's so many ways to find out where your favorite star lives. So it's really scary. And I love my fans so much, and I love going on Twitter and just sharing my life with them, but now I'm a little bit more selective of what I share. So after that happened, I did not feel safe at this house at all. I had to call my security team, and they had to put in a new system. We had to install cameras everywhere and laser systems and on guards on call all the time. So I really feel safe here now, at least. We've had no break-ins since, and I think people know that they can't get in this house again. Sure. I hope people see just how serious what they did was. I think it's really wrong, and I think it's not right to take things that aren't yours. There's definitely consequences to your actions, so I hope kids realize that when they see this movie. I don't think some of them have learned their lesson. Maybe some have, but it seems like some of them haven't. It's pretty bizarre to me that someone could be a thief and a robber and think that they're famous for it. It's very strange. Sophia told me so many things that I didn't know about the robberies. And one of the stories she told me is that one of the girls wanted to take my chihuahua, Peter Pan. And when I heard that, I was so upset. You can't take your dog. But he likes me, and I could get like 500 for him. I can't imagine someone stealing a dog that's like kidnapping their child. So thank God that she didn't do it. I have seven dogs. I even built them their own dog house, and it's a replica of my house, and they're treated very well. So this is my dog house where all my little babies live. That's Marilyn Monroe at the top, the little blonde. <laughs> Stuart Little, and And this is my little baby Peter Pan. This is the chihuahua that they tried to steal. Thank God they didn't. Hi, guys. Don't be jealous. He's very protective of me. <laughs> Maybe I should get a Rottweiler. <laughs> that would have scared them away. <laughs> I think it's really important that they filmed at the house, I think. Especially for the actors, they told me just being in the house and filming it made it even seem more real to them. And I think when the audience watched it, they could really tell that it was my house and you get a real feeling of what happened. And Sophia really showed how serious it was what these people did. 